Good morning, I'm Gary Ritchie uh, for Pharmaceutical Manufacturing. I'm here with Dr. Uh, Martin Ventrist, uh, Vice President of uh, Corporate Operations and Quality uh, for Amgen. Um, Dr. Ventrist uh, gave a, a presentation this morning on uh, anti-counterfeiting and pharmaceuticals. And the question I wanted to ask you, Martin, uh, was where do you think the industry is going to be heading and what do you think the standard model uh, will end up being um, for uh, solving the anti-counterfeit or the, the counterfeiting problem that this country is faced with today? So the problem of counterfeiting and the adulteration of raw materials is a very global and complex issue that has come with the spread of our supply chain, the extent of our supply chain as it grows and uh, the introduction of developing countries into the supply chain, both as uh, producers and procurers of raw materials. And I think uh, since this is a very complex global problem that we can't work anymore in our individual silos in local countries or regions to try to solve that, that we need an international approach and a very holistic approach to try to solve that problem. And so the pharmaceutical industry is establishing a consortium called RX360 at this point in time. And that consortium will bring all the key players to the table together, the pharma companies, biotech companies, gen generic drug manufacturers, our suppliers, even the suppliers to our suppliers, regulators, professional organizations, to work on developing a set of standards that we'll all live and abide to, sharing information about potential activities that are suspicious throughout the world and how to respond to those suspicious activities so that we can detect if we are uh, affected with that. Um, developing technologies in a cooperative manner, working with various universities to detect if the supply chain was adulterated and more importantly to prevent someone from tampering with the supply chain. And finally, the sharing of audit information between firms so we can focus not so much on auditing but on the fact that we're working on fixing the problem. Well, you, in, you mentioned in your uh, response that you have the interest of the regulators in this approach. So you have... Um uh, support from the FDA, uh, the European regulators, the Japanese regulators. So we've talked extent. We've talked pretty. Um, we've talked in a lot of dialogue with the FDI. Mm -hmm. um, they they see this as a global issue that needs a global solution. We've mentioned the concept a few times with the EMEA, and they're very interested. We have not yet had a chance to talk with the Japanese mm -hmm. or the Chinese government related to these kind of activities, but that that is on the on the radar and a part of our schedule. Um, will RX360 be getting together or meeting this year, and, and where and when will that be? So our, our goal is to have a meeting in Washington, D.C. on June 5th. Washington, June 5th. So that would be the kickoff of the organization, and all of the interested parties will come together to pretty much be the endorsement of the organization at that point in time and the rollout in a much larger manner. But we have a web page called rx-360.org mm -hmm. that will provide a lot more information about what we're doing and how we're getting it done. Well, that certainly seems to be something that we'll be looking forward to follow up on. Um, I don't have any further questions. Um, it's a pleasure, pleasure discussing the issue you. with you, and we look forward to following up with you okay. in the future. Yep. Thank you.